आई एम शुभम वेलकम टू माई चैनल सॉल्व विथ शुभम कैट टू थाउजेंड एटीन इज ऑन ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ नवम्बर एंड वी आर लेफ्ट विथ गुड एटी डेज टू गिव आर बेस्ट टू आर प्रेपरेशन एंड कम विथ फ्लाइंग कलर्स इन द एग्जाम सो लेट एस गो डीप इन टू डिटेल एंड अंडरस्टैंड हाउ वी कैन बी आर बेस्ट वर्जन ऑन ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ नवम्बर एंड हाउ शैल वी प्रिपेयर फॉर क्वांट इन द नेक्स्ट एटी डेज As all of us know that CAT is on twenty fifth November, it is going to be held in two sessions, morning and afternoon. The registration lines are open since eighth August till nineteenth September. The test is going to be held in one forty seven cities across India. Candidates are allowed to select four cities. in order of their preferences the centers and the cities will be allocated only after the registration closes so you don't have to be necessarily in rush to complete your registration the registration fee has to be paid online via debit card credit card and net banking system now let us go deep into detail and understand how shall we give our best and come with flying colors in the exam how shall we prepare for quantitative aptitude section in next 80 days for the cat exam before that let us discuss few more important pointers as released by media released for cat 2018 by iim calcutta the exam as we discussed is going to be on 25th november the test duration is for 180 minutes that is for 3 hours there will be three sections section 1 would be verbal ability and reading comprehension section 2 would be data interpretation and logical reasoning and section 3 is going to be quantitative ability so we will discuss how shall we prepare well for section 3 now the candidates will be allotted exactly 60 minutes for answering questions in each section they will not be allowed to switch from one section to another while answering questions in a section it clearly means that you can attempt any section be it section 1 2 or 3 for 1 hour each and you cannot jump from one section to another section now some questions in each section may not be of multiple choice type so there direct answers will have to be typed on the screen and for those direct answers you may not have negative marking use of basic on screen calculator for the computation would be allowed so the tutorials to understand the format of the test will be available on the cat website from 17th october 2018 onwards so i would suggest all the candidates to go through the tutorial and understand the exam pattern well so that you can attempt the questions and the paper in a good way and you can do it more efficiently now there are commonly accepted myths with respect to the quant section for cat exam what are they myth 1 you have to be genius to be good at math so this is a very commonly accepted myth i would say telling you the truth as far as math is concerned we do not have to hit our heads math is simple we need to accept this and then practice practice will certainly make us perfect so the most important thing to fare well in the exam is practice the more you practice the better you get myth 2 quant syllabus for cat is unending this certainly 
is a very commonly accepted myth. We seem to have a notion that the syllabus is infinite for the CAT exam. But what is the reality? Do you know what is the reality people? Reality is the quant section is actually based on high school math that is until your 10th standard. How have we come to know this? We have gone through past few years question paper approximately from CAT 1990 till now and after analyzing the papers we have realized that the math section the syllabus is only based on the high school math. So, it is certainly making our lives easy. As all of us have studied math till 10th standard. What does it mean? It clearly means that we have already covered the syllabus. Then, what needs to be done now? The syllabus is already covered because all of us have studied till class 10th. So, what is going to be our next step? We need to revise. And what next? We need to practice. We have already discussed before what is the foremost important step while you are preparing for the exam. You need to practice, practice and practice if you want to fare well in your exam. Important to be able to clear the cat with flying percentile is what? Dynamic thinking, shortcut methods and accurate and speed calculation. How are you going to achieve these things? How will you make sure that you know shortcut methods, you are doing accurate calculation and your thinking capability has become dynamic. What is important? Again the same word I would say. Important is practice. The more you will practice, more you will gain confidence. Myth 3. You need to attempt all the questions in any section to clear the cutoff. Guys, I would say not at all. If you do so, that would be the gravest sin you will be committing. Do not fall in the trap of attempting all the questions. Remember, leaving questions will only improve your score. So, what is the most important factor which is going to make sure that you crack the exam cat? The most important factor would be accuracy. Accuracy is very very important. You should attempt only those questions about which you are 100% sure. If you have an overall accuracy level of 90%, you would have good chances. Attempting 75% questions in each section with a high accuracy level would be sufficient to get 99 percentile in CAT. So, the most important factor would be accuracy as to how you are attempting your questions. So these are the major topics in quants. They are number system, arithmetic, algebra, geometry and modern math. Now under different topics you have many subtopics. For example, under number system you have numbers classification, LCM HCF basics, divisibility rules, unit and tens digit, divisors, remainders, factorial and base system. Under arithmetic, you will have ratio, proportion and variation, percentage, profit and loss, average mixture and allegation, time and speed, time and distance, simple and compound interest. Under algebra, you will have linear equations, quadratic equations, 
higher degree equations, inequalities, logarithms and functions. Under modern math, you will have set theory, permutation and combination, sequence and series and probability. So the exam paper pattern is going to be, you will have 100 questions, number of sections would be 3 as we have discussed before, questions with negative marking will be 75, questions without negative marking will be 25, score awarded for each correct answer would be 3 marks, negative marking applicable for wrong answers in MCQ would be minus 1 mark. Now the most important quant section, total number of questions 34, time allotted would be 1 hour 60 minutes, total MCQs with negative marking would be something between 23 to 27 and total non-MCQs without negative marking would be something between 7 to 11. What needs to be done before we start attempting the question? So before you go numerical in numerical order to attempt your question, what should you do? Quickly scan the quant section for 2 minutes and understand the difficulty level. Segregate the questions as easy, medium and difficult. Avoid the numerical order. Do attempt the easier ones first. Now, what shall you remember? Please remember your number of attempts is a function of what is, is it function of? Your number of attempts is a direct function of difficulty level. This is important. So, you should not try to attempt all the questions. Accuracy will be very important here. Accuracy will determine your percentile and not the mere number of attempts. So, 22, 22 questions out of 34 questions with full accuracy will be enough to get you 99 percentile or so. Okay, that is very important. Please keep that in mind. You do not have to attempt all the questions to clear your CAT. You just have to make sure that whatever you attempt, you attempt with full accuracy. Now, how shall you prepare for the quants in the last 80 days? First 30 days, what can you try? You can try to revise the basic math concept. So, the first 30 days, where will you put attention? You would try to revise. You already know the concept guys because you've studied everything till your class 10th. We have learnt everything before. This is great. So, what next? You just have to revise. You may refer few books like Arun Sharma, or Quantitative Aptitude for CAT by Nishit K. Sinha Pearson's publication. If you have enrolled yourself in some coaching, then you may refer to those books as well. Now, the most important thing is revise all the topics concept by concept. You should go through each topic and practice at least 50 to 60 questions per topic to be clear with the concepts. Why am I saying 50 to 60 questions? Because we have to revise everything in 30 days. That is why we can try doing 50 to 60 questions per topic. Next 20 days, 30 days have got over. Now you are left with 80 minus 30, 50 days. So now 50 days are left. Next 20 days, Go through the last 10 year CAD papers and attempt the quant section. These papers are readily available on Google. So please go through them. This will give you the required impetus to prepare vigorously for the exam. It will also help you in assessing your strengths and weak areas. That is why it is important for you to go through last few years exam papers. 
Now 30 days are left. Take a computer based mock test every day. Why it is important? Because your CAT exam is computer based exam. So when you take a computer based mock test every day, two things would happen. First of all, you will accustom yourself with the environment as to you will know how a computer based test is taken. Secondly, when you take a test, you get into the momentum. So you would have a feeling that you're already giving the test. This will help you to ease your tension level. It will also help you in developing your speed. Very, very important. It will help you in developing strategy to attempt the question. So you would understand that based on the difficulty level of the paper, how are you supposed to make your strategy and how are you supposed to cater to those questions? And definitely it will boost your confidence level. So these things are very important. That is why taking number of mock tests before the D date is very, very important. I would suggest take as many full length test and sectional quant section as you can before the exam. Wish you all the best. Be sure you will do really well. So I would suggest you to be calm and practice as much as you can. Before one week prior to the exam, I would not suggest you to go through any new topic. So practice whatever you can in these next 80 days and give your best on 25th November. You can subscribe my channel Solve with Shubham and you can give impetus to your quants preparation by going through my videos. So I have covered topics like equations, simple equations and special equations, numbers basics, ratio proportion and variation and I'll be putting more videos till the CAT exam. Thank you.